Now let's begin in Ivory Coast where the United Nations has mounted a campaign calling on civilians with illegal weapons to voluntarily turn them in to authorities. The West African nation is still recovering from last year's violent post-election conflict that killed more than 1,000 people. VOA's Paul Diho has more. Ivory Coast is still emerging from the violence that sprang from the 2010 election dispute between former President Laurent Gbagbo and current President Arasan Ouattara. The UN Weapons Return Operation is a part of a wider national campaign that began in June of last year. Last week in a suburb of Abidjan, those who brought their weapons stressed they no longer need them. Now that violence has ended. We have deposited weapons because it was becoming cumbersome. The war is over. We fought for a cause that has been achieved. We had taken up arms for a cause, freedom, justice and equality. All of that has been restored, so we decided to disarm, need to eat. Ivorians say their nation has now more pressing concerns than political infighting. Not every call has to be for the military life. We must deposit the arms to return to civil life. Since the weapons collection program began in Ivory Coast, more than a thousand arms have been turned in. The program is supported by the Ivorian police in cooperation with the United Nations operation in Côte d'Ivoire. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.